Let's just do one video where we see how much we can drink of a bottle. Yeah, right. Welcome to the Whiskey Can... Go ahead. Welcome to the Whiskey Cantina. I'm Jared. I'm Ray. And we are here for another video. Yep, that's what we're here for. <laughs> um, how long ago was it that we had our last bottle of barrel? Jesus. That was probably one of our first or second... Well, I'd say probably like our second or third wave of videos. So probably eight or nine months ago, something yeah. like that. So it was one of the first really good ones that we had yeah, that we really... That, I mean, we got a kick out of it. I even brought it back for one our um, six or five bottles yeah. you need, yeah. or you only need five bottles of video, which that one did pretty good, check it out. Um, so yeah, we really love what they do at this company. Interesting company for sure, to say the least. I mean, I use the word interesting a lot, like Ray just said. Um, it's beyond interesting, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I guess you could say in the world of whiskey, um, it, it's not hard to find unique things now because everybody's trying to yeah. find their own niche, I think. Um, I've heard a lot of people say the opposite of what I just said, but I feel like everyone's trying to find a niche. Well, there's a lot of different things you can do, you know, yeah. and I think if you're not experimenting, then things get stale. And I think that goes with everything, you know, yeah. and all things art. And I'm learning more and more that, uh, I don't know, man, these might be art. Yeah. Yeah. Barrel honestly, Barrel art. is doing something very, very different. So yeah. Barrel Craft Spirits, uh, I guess I could say blended and matured in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, it is obviously okay. a, yeah, yeah. it's a sourced company. Um, but when I say sourced, I, I want to be clear on, it's not your typical sourced company where no. they're going to just say, hey, I want 65 or 150 barrels of this kind of mash bill. And they send it over and then they play with it and they do different things. This one in particular, they're particular about every step of the way. Every step of the way, from the barrels on how they're gonna age it and what it's been aged in. But what makes it more interesting is what he was saying before we started filming is that they're planning from the get-go. Right. Before they ever even you know go and grab their first barrel from wherever, they're figuring out where they're gonna get it from, what they're gonna finish it in and everything ahead of time, exactly. right? Exactly, so they come up with a plan, they say this is what we want to try, this is what we're looking for, let's do a rye that is aged in rum cast, Maybe it's and like, so on and so forth. This is the flavor profile file we want how do we get there right and then yeah, yeah exactly this is the flavor profile on how do we get there um in order to do that they source from 65 different distilleries throughout indiana kentucky canada um even overseas you've got irish you've got scottish um so they're doing a lot of different things in this particular one we're sourced from kentucky indiana tennessee and canada right so, and that was interesting. When Ray was telling me that earlier, I thought Canada, I, to be honest, I'm 100% I'm sure that we've never had anything sourced from Canada. No. Uh, Indiana, I mean, I can assume that's something from MGP, um, I but again, call. you know, as far as Louisville goes and Kentucky goes, who knows? Well, we've definitely got some Crown stores. Royal in there. That's what we're saying <laughs> <laughs> when we say Canadian. What a terrible job, it's dripping everywhere. I know, but you know, it smells good. <laughs> it's uh, cinnamony. All right, so this one in particular is the Barrel Seagrass. Um, what's that? I was slipping you off. No. So this one in particular is the Barrel Seagrass. This is a rye whiskey finished in... Uh, Martinique. Martinique rum casks, Madeira cask, and apricot brandy barrels casks. Um, that's interesting. We like finished uh, whiskeys. You know, we, yeah, we, definitely, we, definitely. It, it adds something to it. In this case, I mean, they went all out. They obviously know what they're doing. Yeah, um, so yeah. we're going to see what it adds. So what? You got a rum. You got a wine, which is your Madeira, right? I don't know. I was going to ask you what that is. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I'm wrong. Research or... Upon further review, Madeira is a wine. And therefore, we have rum, wine, and brandy casks. And I say we leave all of this <laughs> in there now. Okay. Uh, so yes, uh, Madeira is a wine. Uh, we got rum. Uh, brandy and uh, Madeira cask, which is going to be very interesting. Who knows, to be honest, what it's going to do for the flavor profile? I have no idea because... I know exactly what it's going to do. We don't know. The, 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 the most interesting part to me about this bottle is that we really have no idea what the flavor profile is going to be. I have not tried this. You have not tried this. And we are not particularly averse in the realm of a, uh, rye just yet either. So Correct. Rye is, rye is a little bit out there for us as well. I mean, we love rye. We've had some very good ryes. We definitely have gotten better at finding different things in ryes. But rye in its own right 
is completely different than bourbon. Right, in its own right. I wanted to mention too, this is the uh, double gold winner in the World Spirits Competition, San Francisco 2021. So that's a pretty recent yeah. award too. Yeah, this yeah. one's won some awards already. Um, you've got the Barrel Armida, which is another uh, line, I should say. It's a finished line as well, just like all barrel product. Um, obviously it's a blend and it's won some awards as well. Ours is just the regular old barrel, correct? I think so. And gosh, it was delicious. Peach rings. Yeah, so this one, so you've got the barrel mm. bourbon. This is the, specifically the barrel bourbon. Uh, this was a cask strength two, which As is 108.86 yes. proof. This which, comes in much higher at 119.12. Okay, so much higher. This is basically 120, this is 110. We actually love this stuff. It's mm -hmm. not for the faint of heart. Um, I'm kind of curious to see if this goes the same realm. Very good taste, but man, does it still give you a punch. This yeah. gives you a punch, I'm not gonna lie, but if you really give this some time, let it breathe, sip on it for a while, you're gonna find some very interesting stuff. Give it a smell, buddy, because it's warm, it's like cinnamon candles. Ooh, wow. It's sweet, the tiniest touch of ethanol. Yeah, but you know what, 120. Not burning you. It's very, very sweet. I really think like a warm cinnamon candle, like, or, you know, the, the little diffusers, you got your nose right over it. And I mean, overwhelmingly, I'm getting cinnamon. I'm not getting the nose of a rye, that's for sure. So the finishing on this one mm -hmm. is giving me something different. Raisins. We don't know the mash bill. So to be yeah. clear, we don't know the level of rye. Obviously, we know 51% or higher. Yeah. So that's, that's a factor. Um, Raisin bread. Canadian whiskey is typically a softer whiskey as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, again, I'm not saying that that's just part of the God, this blending smells process. Delicious. I really, really hope that the palate is something like the nose in this one. I want to say... Glug, glug. I want to say fruity, but... I get what you're saying, like raisins, like a dull, dull fruit. Mm -hmm. Definitely like cinnamon, sweet. Did it give you a punch? It gave me a hell of a punch. So I'm going to reserve what I'm going to say until that tones down a little bit and I get a second second taste in me. Because I don't know if I drank it wrong. But I mean... You know what's funny is it gave me the same... On the first sip, it gave me the same thing this did where it's, it's a burn, but it's not an ethanol burn. That is like a... Like you swallowed something wrong burn, kind of? That's interesting. Cause, okay, so you kind of got something I did. And it, that changed the nose for me too. I'm getting a lot more um, toast on the nose. You know nose. what's weird is even with that punch though, I still got a lot of flavors going on yeah. right now. And you know what, the finish is long. Very long. And I'm getting almost almost those long finishing notes mm -hmm. where I'm actually tasting stuff at the back end. That's interesting. Okay. I definitely get sweet though. And that's what I mean, these barrels, they're cask strength, they've been finished in multiple different barrels, they're blends. You gotta give them some time to breathe, develop, keep going back. That okay. first, it's 120 proof. It is, and it is spicy. It is spicy. Okay, yeah. so. And that's what I, I mean by that first yeah. punch. Maybe that was a spice burn, yeah. as opposed to, an, it didn't feel like an ethanol burn. No, I think I wasn't expecting it, and you know, you told me not to, but I was going in and my mind was kind of comparing, uh, pre-comparing it to that, which yeah, to which me is just sweet. Technically, sweet. these should have no comparison. Yeah. I mean, at no, all. and there is none. The finishing is different. This is a bourbon. This is a rye. I mean, the blending is even different. So it, that's the unique thing about barrel. Sorry. No, it, there's. It's really spicy. There's a, a definite breadiness to it, like a like a raisin bread, toasted. It's. Oh wow. You know, it's, that's that is night and day from the first drink. Yeah, a big difference. One hundred percent. It changes as your too. as your throat and your tongue numb a little bit. You get over that proof. Yeah, totally. I get what you're saying. For some reason, just me, I, I get what you're saying about raisin bread. I get just like a fruity type of raisin, but I also get like, it's almost like cinnamon, but it's like, it's not like sweet. Uh, like when I say cinnamon, I usually equate cinnamon and caramel together. Yeah. Like I, with bourbon. But usually when we say- like that. It's when, not a sweet cinnamon. I think it's when we there. say cinnamon, usually we're thinking red hots. In this case, it yeah. is not Red Hots. I'm it's thinking usually cinnamon. cinnamon. I'm thinking Cinnamon Toast Crunch, typically. <laughs> yeah, that's not this. And that is not this. That's not it's, this at this all. Is like, this is almost like um, if you were to take cinnamon, put it in some warm water, stir it up, and then take yeah. a swig. Yeah. That's literally what it's like. Yeah, you know It's like, like a dull cinnamon. When you're sick and you throw 
maybe even cinnamon, a little bit of honey, but you got more cinnamon, like a cinnamon stick in there and you heat it up. I yeah. go to the doctors, but I don't know about you. No, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> this is interesting. I don't, I want to be like, man, this is what I'm tasting, but this is so complex. It that is. It's not, I'm being honest, it's, it's very difficult. Um, um, I'm going to go as far as to say that it's not the my favorite thing that I've ever tasted. I don't think, um, I don't know. I think there is something it's missing for in sure. there. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe it's the fact that, you know, again, you know, we're not that um, versed in the, the realm of rye. So <clears throat> maybe that's why there's something missing for me. But there is something missing. I think I want a little bit more sweetness in it. And I know that you don't go into ryes looking for sweetness, but I do think I want a little bit more sweetness in there. And I'm kind of missing that. It smells delicious. I like the nose a lot better than I like the palate. Yeah, I'm getting still a heavy burn on the back end, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it really is, whether it be the rye or the alcohol, there's definitely a strong burn. And I'm three or four sips in now, and it's not necessarily dissipating the way it usually does. It's, I don't think it's the proof that's giving us the burn. I don't think so either. It doesn't feel like a high ethanol burn. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's bad. It's actually, I, I, I think it's good. I think we might have uh, made a little bit of a mistake because I feel like this could use some water. We can always um, fix that. Yeah. yeah. So I think this will develop so much okay. from some water, to be honest. I just get a really good feeling with that one. Oh, whoops, I thought there was more. I'm hoping you're right because I love what this company does, and I, yeah, I love what give this it. company does regardless. Um, I, I've heard, I've heard. I mean, it wins awards. It's good. This Seagrass, the barrel Seagrass, is probably one of the most touted bottles we've ever had. Yeah. I mean, we've heard about this bottle so long. We've talked about buying this bottle yes, probably for the past year. We've walked by it a few and times we've too. We passed yeah. it up, but it was just because of I don't want to say apprehension, but maybe some apprehension yeah. and the price. Remember that. Barrel, you're paying. I I would say nowhere are you gonna find a barrel bottle less than eighty bucks. Yeah, you're probably gonna pay between ninety and a hundred. Um, it it's not one of those ones that's inflating with the prices, but it's definitely inexpensive. It doesn't do anything for the nose. Okay. Well, definitely sweeter. Definitely more, <coughs> sweeter. more almost like a caramel. Yeah, man, I feel like I'm going in kind of negative on it, but I, you know. Now this one definitely opens up. This is the uh, first one I've had in a while that really does open up from some water. Um, yeah, definitely sweeter. Um, more of the mild fruit, but I would say a darker fruit note for sure. Dried apricots, Dried apricots raisins. cherries, raisins, yeah, yeah something like that. Um, the rye spice tones down, so I'm not getting as much of the burn. I almost feel like this cast strength would do very well at 108 or 109, to be honest. Okay, on that second add, the um, little splash of water that I added, I do like it better. It doesn't add anything to the nose, you're right. It doesn't. In fact, I think it kind of compromises the nose. It's good. Um, it's interesting. I, I don't say, I, I should say you should try it yourself because yeah. it's one of those ones that some people are going to like. Some people are going to be on the fence on. Some people might just not be their cup of tea. Um, I would say it's. I'm on the fence. It's definitely something I will continue to yes. try and see how it develops. See, I would want to go back to this after another six months of us trying and expanding our palate to see if maybe there was something I'm missing because it makes me nervous. It's so touted. It's award winning. Yeah. You know, it's got this and that going for it, and I just don't love it. And it makes me feel like. Is there something wrong with me? No, I'm in total agreement, honestly. Okay. And you know what's funny is I, I when we first drank this bottle, very, very happy with it, but mm -hmm. I went back to this one time and I couldn't get over the burn as well. Okay. It was just giving me a burn that was like, it wouldn't go away almost. And again, whereas even with our 125 proof, yes, burn, exactly. you, it might hit you on the first one, but it subsides and then you start getting all of those fl gorgeous flavors. And it whereas opens up, this, yeah. I'm just not getting it. And I that agree. burn is consistent. I'm not going to lie. Now, the water does help. Watering yes. this one down helps. I would suggest that personally because it got a heck of a lot sweeter. The rye burn did slightly go yes. away. It did make it better. Um, Try it both ways. See what yeah, you think. It's interesting. Yeah.
Maybe maybe a little bit of um, maybe a little bit of ice. I mean, if you're into that thing, I'm not into that. I don't like the with the cold. Yeah, I thought about it. saying that for a second too, but yeah, I feel like the cold with um, how you know spicy this is. I don't think it will mesh. Yeah. So um, you know what it. they should do? They should like, comment, and subscribe our videos. Definitely to our videos. Um, if you want, if there's any other barrel products that you guys have tried that you think we should try, uh, the Armida, any of the other ones, um, please let us know. Yeah, let us um, know. Rub we're it in. interested in them, but obviously we want some feedback. These are yeah. not these are not stereotypical lines. These are something completely different. So yep. it's hard to know exactly what you're buying and even remotely going to get when you're buying a barrel product. I think I like the finish best out of everything because honestly, the longer it sits, I start to enjoy what's going on it's in got there. A good, but... It's got a good tasting finish. Yeah. It's not it's not a sour finish at all. No. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys drink safe, drink responsibly, click that like, click subscribe, just like Raymond said. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks guys.